we worship you, Father. Praise my soul, the King of heaven. To his feet I bring my tributes. I'm ransomed, healed, restored, and forgiven. Who like him is precious sin? Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise the everlasting king. The city of God, praise God this morning. We bless the name of the Lord, even for the 12th year, and we are still counting. Hallelujah. 12 years of grace, 12 years of mercy, 12 years of favor, 12 years of compassion, 12 years of God's unfailing love. We give God all the glory. Hey, it is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. We thank God for the story of our church. And we bless God for how far he has brought us. I thank God for the man of God that is here today. Hallelujah. I give God praise that he was one of the midwife for the city of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. We just want to thank, I just want to thank God today. And I just believe by the grace of God that God has great things in store for us. I am persuaded that God has been with us. It's only people that have started with us that probably will know how far we have come. You might probably look at us and say, ah, you have not come far in 12 years. We know our story. Hallelujah. And we know how God has been with us. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. I remember when you will stand up and I will be the one that lead praise and worship. And I will be the one that will take the offering. And I will be the one that does the, the preaching as well. Praise God. And God help you if you say, Pastor, there is no anointing. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord, the mercy of God. And today we have the choir that are singing. We have the ushers that are ushering. Praise God. We have the hospitality. Amen. And my own son is now the technical. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember when we started, he was just but a little boy. Praise God. He was just 12 years old when we started. Hallelujah. And he will be sitting behind the computer. Told me, just do this. And told me, okay, just, just do this. But we give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Today he reminded me that, Mommy, I'm the one that started the technical group. It's not anybody. I started it. Everybody had him on that day. Praise God. And now we just I just want to thank God. I don't know about you, but I am grateful to God. For even the grace to be able to stand before you every Sunday to minister for 12 years. Hallelujah. I have not been taken to the hospital or rushed anywhere. You have not come to come and see me there. Ah, pastor is not able to preach. Every time I come, whether I sweat it, eh? whether I stay all night to begin to receive the word and prepare it, you have no clue. But every Sunday, somebody come and stand before you to say the word. And I just want to give God all the glory. Every glory belongs to him. Every glory belongs to God. That God is even using us to do great things in this house. Through the city of God, yesterday we had Blue Sky Citadel, the anniversary. The MP and the mayor, the two of them have a function that the two of them meant to go yesterday. But they said because of this event, we will take make a moment to create time they came first to this event before they went to the one they are supposed to go to. Because they said, uh, we, want, we belong in this vision and we want to come first. And the two of them came to honor us because they see that something is happening. Do you want to count the number? It is not a number, as a, my people will know, as we always speak to ourselves. It's not about the number. It's about the heart. It's about the vision and the purpose that God has given us. And I thank God that we are fulfilling purpose. I thank God that we are going out and impacting truly the, uh, the community that we live in. Apart from Blue Sky City area, we have the Mothers Club International. Every year we host mothers and give them three squat, three, three horse dinner every single year. And we have been doing it for 11 years. This is the 11th year that we have been doing Mothers Club. We're going to have the 12th edition of Mother's Club, or Party for Mom this year, and hundreds come. Praise God. So it is not a number. And I believe by God's grace, a city of God is a church without walls, because I believe our platform is different from when we gather in church. We go out to the community to do it. We have the 12 baskets. And I'm sure you read the testimonies. 
that we got back from our mayor of people that received Turkey last Christmas of what we are doing. So that is what we do. We don't just believe in coming together and clapping our hands and singing Hosanna in the highest. Glory to God. As much as that is important, the most important is that we go out and shine the light that God has given us. And I just want to thank God that we have been able to do that. And I believe God that there's greater things ahead of us that God will want us to do. And to God be all the glory for the city of God's 12th year. And I want to thank God that you are part of the story. Praise God. And more importantly, I thank God for the people that started the story. Praise the name of the Lord. I celebrate my husband. I thank God for his life. I celebrate, I celebrate my husband. Hallelujah. I don't say it all the time, but I want to say it today. I celebrate you. You are truly, truly a man of God. The Lord, I, 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 he, he has an unusual grace. He has an unusual grace. And if you know that somebody is called to you, it's not just my husband. He is called to me. Praise God. Mm, just need to touch his eyes. Touch me and you will, you will find out some. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything, you know, you, when you know somebody is called to you and not just believe in what I'm doing. I remember yesterday, the trophy, the bus. You know, before I came, left home, I packed everything. In my own mind, I thought I packed everything I'm going to need for Saturday that I will not need to go back home. You know, I'm behold, I forgot the trophy at home. And I turned to my husband, going to school. And he looked at me. So, I said, I forgot the trophy. <laughs> uh, okay, where is it? I mentioned where it is. I go and get it. Back home. Go and get the trophies for me. Praise the name of the Lord. That's just one in many million that I can tell you. That when I tell him, this is what I need, I only have to say, say, don't worry, be sorted. I just want to celebrate you. And I know that God of heaven will celebrate you. The grace that you carry, hallelujah, it will not diminish in the name of Jesus. I honor you today, and the Lord will continue to honor you as you have been honoring me. If there's anybody, my husband, he gives me prophet offering. Mm. My husband gives me prophet offering. He does, this is my own offering to you as my pastor. A husband giving his wife seed as his pastor. That's my husband. Praise the name of the Lord. And I will say, and I will say, come, let me bless you. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. I said, come, let me bless you. You have brought a prophet offering. Let me bless you. That is my husband. That is my husband. And somebody wants to tell me, you will not honor this man. I have to be crazy. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you, sir. The Lord will continue to honor you. You will live long for me. For me. I'm not selfish. But for me, you will live long. In the name of Jesus. When he comes, <laughs> one funny thing, my husband, when he comes, he will say, I said, ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope you're okay. <laughs> he will say, don't worry. The mortgage shall be paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He will say, don't worry. The mortgage shall be paid. <laughs> I said, it's not because of the mortgage. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, I give God praise. I'm really grateful. And not only that, my boyfriend for 26 years tomorrow. is our wedding anniversary tomorrow. It will be 26 years that we've been married. Who will I believe that we will still be together? I didn't have a precedent. My parents were not married for, they were married for less than two years. I did not have a precedent. But I've been married to my own for 26 years. It has to be God. It has to be God. So I give God praise this morning. And I give him all the worship. He wor is worthy of all our praise. And let's just go to the word. I, if I carry on, I might be here all day. So God has been faithful. That's just a snip, snippet of all that I want to say. And I know that the Lord will be continue to be glorified in our lives in Jesus' name. Lord, take all the glory. And all the worship. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No Glory must be to 
Father, we return the glory to you. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for how far you have brought us. Thank you for what you are doing now. Thank you for what you are yet to do. Thank you for what you have done already. We have no words to express our thanks. I have no adequate, eloquent word to thank you. But today, Jehovah, I give you all the glory. Receive all our thanks and praise, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This man of God, hallelujah. We've come a long way. Hallelujah. Pastor David. Hallelujah. Just, I know he's a great man of God. He's been a friend to both myself and my husband for a long time. And he has been with us from the very beginning, even when the conception of this church and to the day it was birthed. And we just want to bless you this morning for being a support to us, for being a good friend, for being a source of encouragement. And we've been also being a prayer partner with us to see that this work will continue. We want to appreciate you this morning. And with Jesus' welcome, we celebrate and welcome you to the altar. Please let's be, help me to welcome Pastor David Makoyawo. The Lord bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Now, I respectfully ask everyone to please rise up. Thank you. Hallelujah. I know Mama Adetiku have uh, really appreciate God, but I just felt that we should to give to him alone be the glory. I'm still going to get into the war. You know, uh, wherever I get from, stuff will go. But uh, 12 years is not a joke. And, uh, it's been by God. Can we grab our Bible, please? I want us to read this to the Lord from the depth of our hearts. And I really want every one of us to be in the spirit and I trust God that the God of the great wonder it's not that he's going to visit you he's already visiting you oh that amen is anemic uh, I need a sound a resounding amen. amen can we please open our Bibles to the book of uh, Psalm Psalm 136. Please grab your Bible. Grab your Bible. Grab your Bible. Everybody get your Bible. Praise God. Are you here with your Bible? Please, technology have made things easy. You know, you can uh, download, upload. You know. Praise God. Are we in Psalm 136? We are going to be reading together. I will read verse 1. You will read two together and we'll just go on like that. And then we just glorify God. And I believe we're going to have a great time in God's presence here this morning in the name of Jesus. Are we set? Hallelujah. Concerning Redeemed Christian Church of God, the city of God. We are here this morning. To come give thanks unto the Lord. So I read and then you read verse 2. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy and deal forever. Everybody verse 2. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lord for his mercy and deal forever. Next verse, please. So in the by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endure forever. So him that made great lights for his mercy endure forever. The moon and star to rule by night for his mercy endure forever. And brought out Israel from among them for his mercy and dear forever. Praise 
to him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endure forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his hosts in the Red Sea, for his mercy endure forever. To him which smote the great kings, for his mercy endure forever. You are the king of Hamorite for his mercy and you forever. And give their land for an heritage for his mercy and you forever. Who remember all of us in our low estate for his mercy and you forever. Can we all read the verse, the last two verses together? One to go. Who giveth food to all flesh for his mercy endure forever? Who give thanks unto Lord our heaven for his mercy endure forever? I'd like each and every one of us to lift up our two hands. And on behalf of this great church, I'd like us to just say, Lord, thank you for your mercy. Lord, we praise you, Lord. We thank you for the set men and set women of over this house. Come on, I can hear you. Open your mouth. Yes, I love the way you are giving thanks to God. Come on, open your mouth and praise him. Let's give him the glory. Let's return the praise unto him. Lord, I give you all the glory. Lord, I give you all the praise. Lord, we worship you. On behalf of the set man and the set woman over this ministry. We give you all the glory. Father, for the people of God, we give you praise, Lord. Lord, we worship you, Lord. We honor and praise your holy name. We cannot thank you enough, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We exalt you, O Lord. We appreciate you, O God. Blessed be your holy name. Who is like unto you, O God? 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. You know, somebody say, we're thanking God for the church. No, you are the church. So, as we're giving thanks to God, you are thanking God on your own behalf too. So, as we all, he said, let the people praise you. Let them worship you. He said, when the people praise you, he said, then the Lord will release his blessing. And will bring increase. So as we praise God today. I see that this year. And this decade. There shall be great increase. I, I can't hear your amen. I like us to lift up our hands again to the heavens. Say father. Great is your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Open your mouth and bless the Lord. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Lord, I bow my knee on behalf of this church, Lord. And I say thank you, Lord. I give you glory and praise. Lord, I exalt you. Lord, I magnify you. Marika brosti garishti bradid leduste beria davanta. Lord, we praise you, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I'd like us to take this song before we see that. Uh, choir, you want to help me, please? You know, is this, you know, because uh, when Mama texts me and said, you come here, I said, okay. I started praying. Praise God. So, all of you that are here today, you are here on a divine appointment with God. Even though somebody invited you, if you are not a member, but you're coming to rejoice with us, it is heaven that has called you. And you have responded. You will not go back home disappointed. Amen. I can't hear your amen. I need a resounding amen. amen. So I would like us to sing this song together with all of our hearts. You know, because as I walk in that towards the song, I hear them singing the heavenlies. Hallelujah. Amen. And so let, let's join the O's of heaven, you know, to rejoice as we sing together. You know the song, You Are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Do you know? You are Yahweh. Hey, you, you are, are Yahweh. Yahweh. Ah, you, you are, are Yahweh. Yahweh. Hey. Please.
please join you us and let's sing You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Hey, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, you are. your hand and begin to say, Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. Lord, I praise you. Open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The ancient of days, we bless you, Lord. We give you all the glory and all the praise, O Lord. We appreciate you because you are God. We bless your holy name, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Father, we bless you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father Lord. Blessed be your holy name. We appreciate you. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father. You are Yahweh. Before you take your seats, I'd like you to grab your Bible. We're going to take this one prayer point and then I'll get into God's word. Ephesians chapter 1. The book of Ephesians chapter 1. We're going to pray that this morning. Ephesians chapter 1. I'll read from verse 15. Follow me and then we're going to just take one prayer point there and I trust God. That uh, from there we ride on from one glory to another. It says from verse 15. Are we there? Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 1. From verse 15. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 15. It says, yeah. I read. It says, wherefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus. And love unto all the saints. Verse 16. Cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayer. Let me tell somebody from today, you need to make mention of me in your prayers. <laughs> Praise God. You have to start doing that. It might not be long. You know, maybe, I know this is a country where all of us, were in a haste. Why is you in prayer, even if for 10, 20 minutes, before you step out in the morning, just go oh, lift up my pastor before you, Pastor Tutu. And then you put a last name because there are a lot of Tutu. Praise God. Are, are you getting what I'm trying to say? You've you got to be very specific when you pray. So Paul says, I make mention of you. Some people, they don't make mention of their wife. Call their name. Just mention their name. Mention the name of your children as they go. Mention their name their first name and their last name. So that the angel that have been assigned for them, we make sure that he said the Lord will keep your going out and what? And your coming in. 
He said, I cease not to give thanks to God and make mention of you in my prayer. Then he now said this way, we want to pray. He said, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, ah, receive new glory this morning. Yeah. You know, you know, somebody called me one day, he says, you know, I want you, I don't believe in that. He said, I want you to be a God, God is it God's son or God's father to you? I said, I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe in that. I can't be a God to you. But the Bible says, I said, the father of all glory is the one that's in charge of all glory. So when you are linked to him, huh, the glory you need for your life, for your destiny, he pours it out to you. He said, the father, he says, he said, that the, the, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit. Wisdom is a spirit. He said, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. That's what we want to pray this morning. Three prayer points in one. Father, you are the father of glory. I need new glory in this year and in this decade. Then number two, Father, let the spirits of wisdom possess me and overwhelm me. And then number three, in this one prayer, Father, give me by your power and glory the revelation of the knowledge of you that I may know you. See, after Paul had written a lot of epistles, he concluded and said, that I may know you. <laughs> so we're going to pray this prayer, these three prayer points you want. Huh? Number one, Father, I need new glory. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Father, I need new glory. Number two, let the spirit of wisdom possess me. Father, I want to know you. Open your mouth and start praying in the name of Jesus. I can hear you pray this prayer on this 11th and this 12th year of this great ministry. My Father, my God, I can hear you pray. Open your mouth and pray. Yes. Father, I need new glory. In the name of Jesus, possess me with new with, with the spirit of wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I want to know you. Malevos, we take a real love, roasting area. Me angry, just exist around the lake, it was there. Oh, you call a boss, Shateria. Thank you, Father Long. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can you lock your hand with somebody beside you, please? Father, we just thank you. King of glory, Lord of love, ancient of days, rebuilder, repairer, restorer of life, we give you all the glory. Twelve years, still can't thank you for your grace. Thank you for mercy. Yes, we know we are not where we want to be yet, but we are not where we used to be. We give you thanks. We return all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. For everything that we're going to be doing here today, receive all the glory. Receive all the glory. Lord, the set man and the set woman of this house Thank you. The choir, I praise you. The whole church together, collectively, I praise you. Lord, together, we join our faith, join our hands in a corporate worship and thanksgiving. Saying, Father, we appreciate you. We honor you. It can only be you. We thank you. It's of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. For his compassion, feel not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercy. He says it's not of him that will it, 
nor them that run it, but of God that showed mercy. He says, it's not by power, neither is it by my, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Father, we thank you. He said, the race is not to the sweet, on the battle to the strong, but time and chance happen to them all. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for new anointing. Thank you for new vision. Thank you for new grace. Thank you. Thank you for new unction to function for the next level. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father, for everyone that is present here today. And we thank you in advance for the great multitude that are out there that they are coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this area. Thank you for Creekford. Thank you for that spot. Thank you for this suburb. And thank you, Father, for this community. Jesus will lift you up in this community. He said, and when Jesus be lifted up, he will draw me unto him. Father, in the redeemed Christian church of God, city of God, in this area, we lift you up, Jesus. We lift you up, Jesus. We lift you up, Jesus. Please, let all men be drawn to you. I pray for every member that, Lord, continue to strengthen them. Is there anyone their faith has been challenged today? Father, get into their business. Speak to them the language they will understand. Cause them to hear you clearly. Lord, I pray for new grace, new anointing for the set man and the set woman over this church. Father, renew their strengths. Renew your covenant over their life. Visit them the way you have never visited them before. In the name of Jesus. Let your presence, O oh God, Father, continue to be present in their life. Father, please do not lose interest in them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for every one of us. Father, please do not lose interest in us. Help us to always please you. Help us to always love you. Help us to always obey you. Father, we bind every spirit of disobedience. We bind every rebellious spirit. Lord, even as you are showing me right now, I pray for all the children in this church that the spirit of this land will not take charge of their life. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of the land is the spirit of rebellion. The spirit of the land is the spirit of disobedience. And I say concerning this one, he said, for our children shall be taught of the law, and great shall be our peace. Father, concerning this one, I anoint them by your word and by your name and by your blood, that the spirit of this land will not take charge of their life. The spirit of this land will not possess them. And if by, by, by venture that anyone has been touched by the spirit of this land, I say, Satan, take off your hand. It is written, touch not my anointed. And do my and do my prophet no harm. These are God's children. Satan, take off your dirty hands Amen. over all these children. Father, we just thank you. Speak to us this morning. Speak to us this morning. Speak to us this morning in the language we understand. With the glory of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the people of God say, Amen. Can I hear somebody shout a triumphant Amen? Amen. Before you take your seat, I'd like you to go to 12 people and just say congratulations. You made it 12 years. 12 miracles is coming for you. 12 blessings. In the name of Jesus. Go and shake 12 people. Say to them, I'm so glad to see you on this 12th year. <clears throat> Glory be to God in the highest. Father, we thank you. We give you glory and praise. You are worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we magnify you. You are worthy to be praised. Who is like unto you, O God? There is no one that can be compared with you. You are greater than the greatest. You are higher than the highest. You are better than the best. Can we put our hands together for the Lord as we take our seat? Come on, come on, come on, come on. If you are happy to be here this morning, I say put your hands together for the Lord. I say put your hands together, put your hands together. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. I say praise God. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I feel the anointing. Hallelujah. You will go back home rejoicing with shout of victory and shout of triumph. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed this morning of the Lord that makes the heavens and the earth. <coughs> Hallelujah. My dear pastor, where is mama? Praise God. Okay, I wanted her to be here. Okay, but uh, I want to thank God uh, uh, for this very special day. You know, this is a day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I want to thank God for this great church, for this great ministry, for this great people. Can you please, all members, can you stand up and help me to celebrate Pastor Tutu and Pastor Tunde Shofura? Please help me stand up to help me to celebrate them. Come on, 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 come on. Help me celebrate them. Help me to 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 celebrate them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Help me to celebrate them. Hallelujah. Please take your seat. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. I want to thank uh, my dear pastor, my friend, you know, Pastor Tutu and Pastor Tunde Shufura. I want to appreciate you. Thank you very much for inviting me to come and be your guest speaker on the 12th year of your work with God and for the city of God. Thank you very much. Thank you for still remembering me. <laughs> Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> ha hallelujah. You are, you are blessed in Jesus' name. Can you help me to celebrate somebody beside you and just I celebrate you too. I celebrate you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Help me to celebrate the choir. They are powerful. I love their voice. <laughs> Praise God. Come, help me celebrate the choir, man. If you... If it, pray, pray, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And help me to celebrate, you know, the keyboardist, the drummer. Hallelujah. And help me to celebrate the sound man. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, come on. I can hear you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing has gone wrong today. The, 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 the sound has been excellent. Praise God. The Lord, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So, Mama is here. Let me officially again. Praise God. Everybody rise up and help me celebrate this woman of God. Rise up. Help me celebrate her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you very much. Please sit down. You know, and because you have done that this year, you know, I, I'm in the spirit right now. This year, God will Oh God, I received this for myself in Jesus' name. God will pour honor on your life. Not that God will give you honor. There's a difference between God giving you honor and then pouring honor on your life. This morning, it's one way or the other. God is going to be speaking to us. Prophecy will be coming. And just, just speak your home. As you are seated there, you know, thank God. You know, I, I, I bless God for this ministry. I bless God for this uh, congregation. I thank God for this great men and women of God. You know, when Mama just said, okay, you're coming. I became very afraid. Praise God. Because I don't take lightly spiritual things. I became very afraid. Why was I afraid? It is 12 years. 12 calendar years, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the beginning of a new beginning. Huh? Are you getting me? And uh, whosoever you are inviting to come and be God's mouthpiece, mouthpiece, it has to be somebody that, okay, you have to find out what exactly is in the mind of God for this next decade. Because whatever we're going to be doing in this one year, 
we determine what will happen throughout this decade. I became very afraid. So I started praying. You know, your pastor is a, is a very, very spiritual person. And so this year, I like you to become very spiritual. We are in end time. We are in the last days where so much is happening. And each and every one of us, we need to become more spiritual. Become more spiritual in everything that you do. Because you've got to understand this. He said, you know, it is the spiritual that controls the physical. If you don't look here, if you are not spiritual this year and for this decade, you are going to miss a lot of things. If you don't want to miss, if you don't want to miss anything this year that God has for you and for this decade, you have to become spiritual, more spiritual. Not only that, as the word of God says, sir, be also be fervent in the spirit. Be sharp to be able to pick what the spirit of God is saying. And I trust God. Thank God. You know, I was telling him because he, since he tells me that, okay, you're going to come. I had to start praying. I said, okay, I had to tell you, okay, you know, please, can you ask everyone to be in fasting? You remember, ma? And I said, okay, we, I mean, fasting is already good. I said, okay, glory to God. It makes the work easy. Praise God. And that's why, if you have not been fasting, please join the fasting. Because it says, I was telling our people during the course of the week, because we're in fasting. I say, you know, it's in, in Isaiah chapter 40, it said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You don't run when you are supposed to be waiting. He said, they. So, he's talking to all of us. He said, they that wait upon the law. Number one. Look here. You need strength to run. Praise God. I'm not talking about physical strength. I'm talking of inner strength. He said, they that wait upon the law shall renew their strength. The nurse said, they shall mount up with wings as the eagle. He said, when they run, they will not fade. And then as he says, you know, it, uh, it, at the later end, he said, they will soar like as of an eagle. So this year, huh, God is going to cause you to soar. Oh God, I can't hear your amen. amen. Maybe that word is not for you. Hallelujah. God, God, God is going to cause you to soar high. That's when people come looking for you, where they always see you, they will no longer find you. They say, that's her up there. That's him up there. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, people always say, meet you at the top. No, that's not. You are not going to the top. You are going to the topmost top. That's where you're going. The topmost top. So this morning, I want to quickly sort of like share with us. You know, as I'm sharing, wherever I just get to, I will just stop. But, you know, I just love this church. Praise God. This church look good, man. Praise God. Let me celebrate again. I love this church. Praise God. I love the building. Hallelujah. Let's quickly, we want to look at the subject this morning. It's our year of great change. And we're going to be looking at the subject this morning. The God of great change. Praise God. What a topic. The God of great change. Let's quickly pick that text, you know, where we are going to be running with this year and this month. Revelation chapter 21. The book of Revelation chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21, verse 5. It says there, you know, because I've been praying, and there's so much, you know, as I walk in here, can I tell you, over this church, your heavens are open. Praise God. I read verse 5. It says, And he that sat upon the throne said, Remember, the word of God says, say forever. 
Thy word, oh Lord, thy word is set true. So, every word that will be coming right now, huh? I would like you to begin to, God is going to be pointing you into what's going to be happening in your life for throughout this year and for this decade. So, I mean, you hearing this word alone, the God of great change. So, in other words, this year, God has given a word. And what is this word? Number one, you are going to be great. Oh, God. You are going to be great. Number two, you are going to experience a great change of turn around. And look here. This year also is going to be a year of speed for you. Speed. No, I'm telling you. If somebody will run with this word that I'm declaring this morning, because look here, I've taken time to pray. Set myself aside. Because like I said to you, it may look funny to you that when, I, when you know, uh, mama called me and said, you are going to be, I began my prayer, I started praying. 12 years. That as the people come, they are coming hungry. They want to know the mind of God. For the next decade. For their future. So as you, you have been invited. You are not just being invited. God you honor an holy invitation. God called you. And you responded. And because you have responded. You will not go back home disappointed. So as you are seated right now. I am speaking by the spirit of God. Everything that I've been lying dormant in you, I speak to them. Arise, 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 arise. I speak to every vision. I speak to every vision. I speak to every vision. I speak to every idea. I speak to everything that God has in mind, that God has planted inside of you. Arise. Arise. Arise, 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 arise. There's some of you here, you know, God has been, you know, thank you, Father. God said to tell someone here that you have been struggling financially. He said to tell you that he has been giving you some kind of idea, but you've been ignoring it. That if you honor that idea and run with that idea, he said, you are going to become financially liberated. Receive your portion. Hallelujah. Amen. The God of great change. When you encounter, you know, people say is this. Let me quickly read this, you know, because, you know, because it's, I, I, I sense my spirit that, you know, the spirit of people is drawing. Praise God. He said the deep call it unto the deep. So, everyone is here. He say, I, I need a wall. And that's why at times, you know, let, 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 let me open a secret to you today. Have you ever heard your pastor say, I will soon round up? Praise God. Have you ever heard that? I will round up now. Praise God. I will run up. No. See, it's not I. Yeah? That is drawing the service longer. It is the spirit and the soul of somebody drawing and say, God, will you not give me my own word today? So, when she's about rounding up, the spirit and the soul of one is saying, God, will you not speak to me through your servant? So, when she's about rounding up, all of a sudden, the spirit of God began to respond and began to say, okay. You know, there are times that whereby, you know, we begin to dive into things that we don't prepare for. It is a spirit. It is the soul of somebody inquiring and saying, are you not going to answer me, Lord? I came here. Look here, you don't come to church just for us to see your beautiful face. No, we, we, we came to church on a purpose. We came to hear God. We came to hear from God. We came to receive the next instruction, the next step to take. Do you know this life is so confusing? Look here, I want to see people that are old. It, old age does not determine that you know what you're doing. There are a lot of old people and yet they don't know what they're doing. So, so vice versa for young people. And that's why when it comes to this year, please determine your heart. 
This year will not run me. I will run this year. Hello? You make up your mind. This year will not run me. I will run this year. So if you are going to run this year properly and begin to flow and flow in the spirit, it is the world hearing the voice. And that's why to enter into the and to encounter the God of great change. Look here, there are a lot of things, but God keeps saying, say, just come and talk to them about my voice and hearing me. Look here, you want to experience the God of great change. You need access into the voice of God. Access. Until you can access and hear the voice of God. Look here. You remain stagnating. And look here. None of us can outgrow the voice of God. None of us can grow being led and say, okay, I've heard God yesterday, you know. No. You have to keep keeping on and keep hearing him. What's next? What's next? Yeah, see, see, see our father, Daddy Gio. Everything. about See, see what Redeemer has become today. It's access to the voice. Access to the voice. I was listening to one of his messages. You know, I think it was in Israel. You know, he was saying, okay, okay, we have planned, you know, this and this and this and this. I've had to, I've had to, I've gone with him in one of the trips. You know, okay, in the morning, come, Bible teaching and everything. So, he was saying there, he said, you know, yeah, we do this, we do this. He said, but, you know, if you didn't change it, say, okay, we're going to go this place and this place. But if God say otherwise, I will have to stay indoor. Please. Yes, I know you, you've given your work. But always ask God before you step out. What's the plan today? What's the direction? Please. If you can't hear anything today, as we journey on these 12 years, huh? go back home today and say, Lord, I come against every spirit of rebellion, every spirit of disobedience. Lord, I make up my mind. I want to hear you about everything, everything about everything concerning my life, concerning my destiny. Access to the voice of God. God can speak to you directly. He can, I mean, you have a very good, solid man and women of God here teaching you how to hear God. You can hear the voice of God directly through dream, through the word of God, through vision, through revelation. You know, through different kind of things. God speaks to everyone in different ways. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? You can hear through audible voice. You know, like, you know, the guy that dropped me this morning, you know, I was just, you know, and go, I just said, he said, tell, tell, tell him that the lady that call her now, that call him now, that make sure you don't bring her into UK. She will destroy you. Praise God. I said, God, what is this? You know, what's my own God is getting into somebody's business. This money, God will get into your business. So as I was just, you know, I just, okay, I won't tell, I, I won't tell him now. When I just got to my destination, open the door, I just say, okay, this and this and then, <laughs> praise God. So when we got to me, I said, you know, sir, the lady that called you, make sure that you don't bring her into the UK. He said, ah. He said, can I have your card? He doesn't know where. <laughs> he said, okay, I will give you my number. I said, don't bring her into the UK. You bring her to the UK, she will destroy you. He said, ah. He's looking at me. He said, He's in Africa. She's in Africa. Praise God. And I said, God, you're getting into somebody's business as I'm coming to do your business. So this, if God can get into somebody, a driver's business, how much more you huh, that you are here this morning? I say again. And as I go on my knees, what 
whatever power that have one way or the other prevented you from hearing God, assessing the voice of God, obeying the voice of God, following the voice of God, I command those power to back off. Begin to hear God. 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 In every matter that concerns you, begin to hear God. Hallelujah. Students, young people, can I be honest with you? The way to greatness in life is hearing God. Not only hearing God, you can hear God and not obey God. You can hear God and not follow God. Hear Him, obey Him, follow Him. I love that Him. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, what a glory He shares on our way. Hear this. What he says we we do. Where he sends we we go. Never fear, only trust and obey. And everybody, trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. But you trust and obey. Hey, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but you trust and obey. You trust and obey. Hear this. Let me continue quickly. Let's go back to that revelation. God has given us a war. So in other war, this morning you have come to encounter with the God of great change. So in other words, God is saying, number one, you're going to be great this year. Not only that, he, said he, wants to, he wants to show you some things. He wants to make great changes. So in other words, as God is saying to you that he, you're encountering the God of great change, he's saying to you, there will be some changes you have to make. Oh, you didn't get what I just said now. There are some things you have to make change is about. Thank God we're fasting. You know, you might have been doing something for years and instruction can just come. It's time to change what you are doing because it's no longer working. But see, uh, this is what you have been doing uh, this is how we used to do it, especially in church. This tradition, you know, tradition ban churches and, and keep church in one place. And one of the things that keep church and even that Jesus have to fight during his earthly ministry is tradition. Is what? Tradition. Tradition. This is how we used to do it. Uh, this is how they do it in Nigeria. No, they can do it in Nigeria like that. But yeah, it's a different ball game. Entirely. You got to believe God for wisdom. You got to believe God for divine instruction. You got to believe God on how to go about doing what you have been assigned to do, where you have been assigned to do it. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Children, as we are growing up, you need the voice of God. You keep casting God, am I in the right profession? I remember growing up very young, you know, as I was thinking about this, when I was very young, I said, Lord, I, I got born again when I was quite young. I was saying, God, I, I don't want to just be living my life in trial and error. What exactly am I supposed to do on this earth? And I remember, I said, I have called you. See, everything I've become today is because I obey the call of God. Huh? Can I tell you? I, I've been to different countries in, in my life. It's as a result of me obeying and following the voice and the call of God. What have you been called to do? In this church, 
what have you been called to do? You know, I begin to say to myself, I say, see, Mama is getting into my message when he say, you know, my husband is being called to me. Ah, better pray very well, oh. You know, you don't use sight to get married. You pray and you hear God. Praise God. You don't use, you know, I, I was told, when I was coming, the, the Spirit of God was brooding on me. I started reading inside the car, I started reading, you know, Acts chapter chapter 9, talking about Paul. Uh, you know, you, you don't, see, you cannot be led even by passion. Because Paul was passionate. And he was passionately wrong. Passionate. That was why Jesus encountered with him. You know, when after he has taken it, he said, I want to go. He thought he was doing the will of God. <laughs> he was doing the will of God wrongfully. Kicking against Jesus. Praise God. And Jesus encountered with him. He said, Saul. Before you came, Paul. He said, Saul. Saul. Why persecuted thou me? And then you see, the religious in him declare, who are you, Lord? Oh, God, praise God. You can be in church and not be in touch. Hello? You can be in, in church. Because when the woman touched Jesus, he said, and Jesus said, he said, somebody has touched me because I, I, I sense that his virtue has been drawn. And, and even the disciples that were following, he said, ah, master, what are you talking about? See crowd, everybody is touching you and everything. They, they couldn't even understand. Disciples, oh, they were not even in spirit. When you get in church, please make sure you are in spirit. Even before you get to church, start praying. God has to start speaking to you. So that by the time you get to church, when God's servant opens his mouth, you say, yes, this is the mouthpiece of God. You're already receiving message even before you get out of your house. But some of us, please, don't fight your wife before you leave home. Because you are in the flesh. The devil will rob you of what God wants to give you for that week. Don't fight your wife. Don't fight your husband. So he says... He said, for I sense that virtue has been drawn out from me. He said, who touched me? Who? Who? Can I say to you, in this year of the Lord Christ change, who is going to touch the Lord? Who? You need to touch him. Let everyone know that, you know, you, you are pulling something down. Pulling something down can never be the same. I don't want my life to be the same. So he said, Who touched me? He said, Jesus, what are you talking about? Hello, the crowd are talking you and you're saying, Who touched me? He said, I say, Who touched me? I say, Who touched me? I said, This morning, who is going to touch the Lord? Who is already touching the Lord? Young people, touch God. Touch Jesus. Young people, when, when you touch the Lord, your life will not remain the same. He said, who touched me? He said, for I, I sense that the virtue has been drawn from me. He said, why are you saying that, Lord? He said, see, a lot of people. He said, somebody. And then the woman ran. He said, Twelve years. <laughs> Are you catching the revelation? <laughs> Praise God. Look here. Everybody have an issue in the church. Hello. Everybody's got an issue. Praise God. Let me tell you, neighbor, you've got an issue, man. Don't look at me in a funny way. Praise God. You've got an issue, man. You've got an issue. Praise God. He said, the woman, and the woman, please, and then when you come, you don't mind your business. Praise God. The, the woman was focused. Even though a lot of people were there, he said, ah, my dear has finally come after 12 years. 
had a plan for this body. The Holy Spirit is here. Can I tell you, your days are finally come. Twelve years. Can you ever imagine a woman? What he, he said, he has suffered in the hand of the physician. That, 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 would, that would touch our finances. It would dry our finances up for 12 years. And then also, if you have an issue like that, you know, people will be running over you because there will be hold up. You may not have that, but people are running away from you. You know, when you are poor, the Bible says the people run away from you. It said the rich have a lot of friends. <laughs> But the poor, even his brother and sister, they are distant and say, oh, you know, it's God. Oh, praise God. You know, somebody the other day was say, ah, do you know this person? I said, I know. So, and I'll let her find her. I said, ah, you know, I was now curious. I said, do you still say? Then we know actually is the sister to the uncle of somebody that I know. You know, everybody always wants to be identified with somebody rich or successful. Now, let's come back about the issue. Let me tell your neighbor, you have an issue. Don't look at me in a funny way. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that, that, that woman, huh? the Bible says she ran and found him. And the Bible says immediately. And I tell you, on this 12th year celebration of Redeemed Christian Church of God, City of God, on this 12th year, everybody lift up your two hands. Keproda. Lebrati kitush, brada tenkla to zusta, barike to sustoria. I, I, on this holy altar, I bow my knee before the Lord. Whatever <coughs> has been an issue to you in the last 12 years, receive answer. Receive the touch of heaven. Receive the touch of heaven. Receive the touch of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Open your eyes. I will soon round up now. Hallelujah. Is somebody receiving anything this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I received this soul. You know, as I was talking to you, the Spirit of God is saying to me, he said, there's somebody here, you know, that uh, you, are, you have been making inquiry. It's not that you are questioning God. You are saying in your heart, in your spirit, even before you came, does God still answer prayer? My father asked me to tell you that within the next one week, within seven days, you will see the God of answer and action. Amen. Hallelujah. So he said, oh, touch me. So in other words, you can be in church and not be in touch. So people of God, make up your mind. Because I sense that from this 12 year celebration, uh, there will be a new level of testimony, a new level of answered prayer, and people will be getting married, people will be having children. Oh, no more struggle. Open doors, open heaven, divine blessings. Businesses will be bought here. Ideas will be bought here. Can I hear somebody respond with a ladder? Amen. Amen. Praise God. So as the beginning round up, it says, let me read that verse 5. And I want to encourage my pastor. Please don't get discouraged. Don't, 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 don't even worry. You know, you are talking about I said, come on, forget that. You understand? You know, the way we look, the, the way we look things on this earth is different from the way God looks at things in heaven. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? When God opens your eyes, you just see. You know, these days, people are after crowd. I'm not saying it's not good. It's good. Because our father has demonstrated that in Nigeria and everywhere. Huh? But you got to be very careful. Because a lot of people in the desperation for crowd, they have missed God. They have dived into different kind of things. Just to draw a crowd. You know, I was telling, talking to one of my friends, my pastor friend in, uh, in, uh, in uh, California. You know, he pastor a redeemed church too. In the Silicon Valley, to be precise, Jesus, 
but we're talking words. I said, don't worry. I trust in God. Don't come. Don't cross me. I encourage you. I said, don't worry. Keep doing the work. You know? See, we can, you know, I, I, I have a challenge when I say, okay, you know, this is a successful pastor. This is a successful. Who is telling you that? It is your own, it is your own, that's the way you view success. That when, you know, not even church building is a success. Let, 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 let's begin to come back to the Bible. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? It's about willing so growing people and making sure that they make their way to heaven. Hear what Papa Okun says, you know, that the Jew says part of the vision of the Jewish Fellowship of God, you know, make sure you make you make heaven and take as many people as possible. Are you getting it? Uh, so I said to him, when he was, I said, don't worry. I said, you are doing a great job. You know, why I was sitting there, I said, please don't be disappointed. You are doing a great job. You know what it takes for pastor? Sometimes to what it takes to pray, hear from God, speaking to you day by day, week by week, Sunday by Sunday, day by day, every time they are always there. And you say he's not anointed. Ah, may angel not give you knuckle. No, I'm telling you, may the angel of God not give you knuckle. That's why it's dangerous to talk about men or women of God. You don't know the price they are paid. If somebody has prayed for you overnight, that maybe the Spirit of God has laid on your pastor to pray for you all night. And he came praying, you know, declaring, well, the, the pastor's message today is not anointed. So the, the enemy will come, accuser of the brethren. He says, see the person that you have to pray. The, your, your servant prayed for him or for her all night. And then, say, okay, don't answer his prayer. Be careful. Be very, very careful. Very, very careful. Be very, very careful. Hallelujah. Are you receiving anything this morning? God wants us to come as we come seeking Him. On this special day, yes, we are giving thanks to God. You know, so we got to understand that it, it's not the way we view success that heaven views success. Praise God. In fact, I was telling that pastor, I said, you cannot even know whether you are successful until you see Jesus, until he said to you, good and faithful servant, come into your rest. What are we talking about? I don't look at it before. That people judge success about how many cars you have, the money you have, the kind of... I'm not saying that's not good. He says, seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all of that thing. Uh, please, don't get me wrong. I'm not against, you know, prosperity or being blessed by God. Don't I, I think you get what I'm trying to say. Huh? Are you getting me? Hello? Are you getting me? God wants to bless you. God wants to, you to do well. You know, it takes money to get a place like this. Because uh, this place is being owned by, is it HSB or Barclays? Barclays. You remember now. <laughs> We've come along. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, it must be a woman and a man that is hearing God to get a place where bank is using. We want to pay our money. Bank has the money. But we have our God. Hey! Praise God. They that do know their God, they shall be strong and do great exploits. Praise God. Your money can't buy the favor of God in my life. Praise God. Please don't look at your pastor in a funny way and say, eh, we are age mate. Please, we are, even though we are age mate, we are not grace mate. Hello? Miriam tried to despise Moses. So say, you know, come on. She may, she may be older than you say, but you are not grace mate. Even Moses tried to, he said, no, let us stay away for seven days so that you know. That even though you are younger, you are you are the younger brother. Uh, my call is on your life. Praise God. I said, praise God. 
Thank God for the call. You know, thank, thank you, thank you, sir, for recognizing the grace of God in the life of this great woman of God. I was so happy when he said, my, my husband give me seed, give me offering, give me prophet offering. Huh? You, start, you should start honoring how. You want to get blessed? See, did you did, did we even talk? She just, because I just, we didn't talk. She just sent me. A Nobody have ever done that to me. <laughs> this woman is powerful. <laughs> she just sent. He said, Pastor, you are coming to peace. And that's it. She didn't even talk. I said, wow, look at this woman. I said, if I say something now. <laughs> She's been inviting me one way or the other. And, ah, I, ah, I said, so I, she didn't even call me. God is my witness. Not until yesterday night, even that time I was even praying, I didn't miss call. Are you getting what I'm praying? Wait, she just said, text, you know, mm, on this day, we are 12 years, you know, and you are coming to minister, boom. Nobody have ever done that to me. <laughs> Praise God. This woman is powerful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pray, pray, praise God. I have to come and honor her. Please, look here. When you begin to honor your man of God and your woman of God, can I tell you, God remove limitations over your life. Begin to bless you. Begin to release blessing and favor over your life. It's a roundup. Let's read that scripture and then we can rise up and begin to pray. Has anybody received anything this morning? And then we begin to prophesy. We're going to prophesy into your life, prophesy into your destiny, prophesy into this new year. And I believe God that every one year you'll be returning with testimony. You'll be returning with testimony. You know, you, you may not think that, see, we'll pray before God here yeah, and Every word that I've declared over you, that God's servant have declared over you, see, changes are already taking place. Great changes. Great. So it says there, it says in verse 5 of Revelation chapter, you know, Re Revelation chapter chapter 21, verse 5. It says, it says, and he, can you see that word? That's so powerful. It says, and he that sat upon the throne. And he that sat upon the throne. Who is the one that sat upon the throne? The Almighty. Look here. This year and for this decade, you are set to. <laughs> Your case is set to. Thank you, my father. I received this. You know, God asked me to tell everyone that is here. He said, apart from this year being your great year of great change, he said, I should tell everyone here. That this is your year of settlements. It's gonna settle you. I see right now somebody is being given a new, a new, a, 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 a key into a new house. Yeah. Pastor, you're gonna be you are gonna be dedicating new houses this year. You're gonna be dedicating new houses. You're gonna be dedicating new houses. I see people moving out of council house, moving out of rented apartment, and say, This is my house. This is my house. This is my house. Uh, this is my house. And look at It's not going to be long. It's a year of speed. I, I, are you getting what I'm trying to say? It's a year of speed. Watch out. Everything you're going to be, you see, for the first quarter of this year, you are going to you will have achieved a lot of things, what you couldn't achieve in the last decade. Are you, are you getting what I'm trying to say? Because God is involved. When God is involved, God begins to favor you. It's your year of speed. It's your year of speed. It's your year of speed. It's your year. It's your year of speed. It's your year of speed. It's your year. It's your year of speed. Hallelujah. You know, it's not a year to join the queue. It's a year to jump the queue. You know, when God said to uh, Samuel, go fill your hand with oil. He said, go fill your home with oil because uh, I have chosen someone. Ah, look, favor will locate you. He said, I've chosen someone to become king. I, I want to quickly digress a little bit. You know, the, 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 the God, God was looking at David in that desert place. He was faithful with a sheep. 
it is not what your pastor see you doing that will promote you. It is what God sees you doing while your pastor is not there that will promote you. God is watching. So God is calling us into commitment, into faithfulness, into dedication to his work. I'm trusting God that in this church, God will bring in fat people. What do I mean by fat people? I'm not talking about literally fat people. I'm talking about people F represent faithful, A represent available, and T represent teachable. That you become faithful, available, and teachable. There are people that are faithful, but they are not available. There are people that are available, but they are not teachable. There are people that are teachable, but they are not faithful. So you need the three. Everybody say, I need the three. I need to be faithful, available, and teachable. We, we, when next I come, let this place not contain us again. Let's, let's work with that principle. Lord, I want to be faithful this year. I want to be faithful in my tithing. I want to be faithful in my giving. Please, don't mind the people outside, though. I say, you know, they're collecting your tithe. No. If you don't pay your tithe or give your tithe, it's, it belongs to God. Huh? You are cutting your, your blessing. You are injuring your blessing. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Praise God. So please, you know, don't, don't allow the voice of outsider to become louder in the church. Hello? No, you don't do that. Yeah, I'm not saying that, no, there are bad, bad, uh, this thing, you know. Yes, there are bad, bad, in every profession, there are bad people. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? There are bad pastors. There are good pastors. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? There are bad wife. There are good wife. There are bad husband. There are good husband. Are you getting me? Are you not going to say because there are because there are bad uh, husband? You know, all husband you now stereotype them. No. Are you with me? This is a great church. This is a good church where you can sow. Where you can be more committed. Huh? I was so happy when Mama was sharing and all of you were sharing. You know, he said the blue stuff. What's the blue stuff? Blue sky. Yeah. See how you reach. I said, wow, I'm getting blessed too. I want, you know, why is here? I've, I've taken something that I'm going back to North West London to go and implement. I'm telling you, you must think you are not doing anything. You are doing great, but greater things ahead. Don't get tired, don't pack. Huh? See, two things, two things that, 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 that keeps people, not only the bad terrible, he said in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and verse 9, verse 18, he said, remember ye not the former things. Put your past behind you. Not only past mistake, past terrible, thing, even the past success, you can, you ca it can hang you. Say, ah, past glory, past glory is a terrible thing. Past success, is, say, and when people will be, ah, you see, if you know me in 1974, 1974, praise God, ah, praise God. You know, you know, this week, mama, ah, oh my God, this is becoming, there's no way you preach and you not preach about yourself. Praise God. You, you know, this week, as I was walking on the high street in the, uh, my, my area, and I see, I see one Volvo, Volvo 340. Praise God. Being driven. Ah! And I laugh. I look at it. My dad bought that Volvo new one. And all of us. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Praise God. Eh? Volvo 340L or GL. When I now sit now, that I've now grown, I said, wow, this is what <laughs> my dad bought. I still remember it. New brand one. Oh, oh, all of us ran down. Ah, the way, oh God, praise God. <laughs> he became an idol. <laughs> praise God. I, 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 oh God, I remember, you know, in the village of my father, you know, my, my, my grandfather was the first person that had a, 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 a two-story building. Praise God. In our village. Guess what they used to build it? Wood. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> they were, did you get what I'm trying to say? The glory of yesterday. Let it go. 
even the glory of today will soon be a past glory. Are you with me? So please, stop making reference to, you know, how good, the good old days. You have mentioned the good old days. The good old days. It is old. You know, in church, I, I, I said to our people, I said, we are going to wage war against old things. Praise God. That anything that is less than five years or less than two years, pack it out of your house because God wants to bring new things. Can you cut that revelation? Hello? Some of you, you need to clear... The, the, the reason why God can't bring new things and do new things is because the new thing that God wants to do, those old things are still occupying it. Let's rise up. <laughs> when next I come, by the grace of God, have you received anything this morning? We're celebrating 12 years. Yes, thank God for the 12 years. But it's gone. New glory. I read this and then we start praying. It said in verse 5, and, it's, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Ever say all things new. Can you see God? He said, I make, when I was reading this, it's all things. So all is covered. All is covered. All is covered. I make all things new. Remember, you know the formatting says the law, and I consider the things of old. Therefore, I'm going to do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I'm going to make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Thank God for the 12 years for greater things. Ahead of us. So I've been confident of this. That faithful is that I started the good thing. Who also will bring it to perfection and completion. He said I thought not to myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind. And reaching forth to those things. Which are ahead. I'd like us to lift up a hand this morning. Let's begin to bless the Lord. For the word we've heard. The word we have received this morning. Let's open our mouth and give him praise. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Let God hear you this morning. Let him hear you this morning. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. Father, we praise you. We give you glory and praise. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. All eyes closed, please. Drop your hand. Uh, life Without Christ, it's full of crisis. No Jesus, no life. You want a new life? You have not given your heart to Jesus this morning. You want to experience the great change? You want to experience the God of the great change? If you want to see great changes in your life, life begins when you encounter with Jesus. Life does not begin at 40. You can be 40 if you don't have an encounter with Jesus. Life has not begun. You are here this morning. Everybody close your eyes. You want to give your heart to Jesus. Just lift up your hand. I want to pray for you. Anyone here? Anyone here that you want to receive Christ into your life? Or maybe you are here. You want to rededicate your life. The year is still early. I want to see your hand. I want to just pray for you. You want to give your life to Jesus. Or you want to rededicate your heart to the Lord. Please lift up your hand. I want to pray for you. It's very important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe everyone is in, is in Christ. So let's lift up our hand, everybody. And begin to give thanks to God. Come on, I love the way you are thanking the Lord. Open your mouth. I say, Lord, Father, thank you for the word I've heard this morning. I give you glory. I give you praise. I exhort you. Thank you. Let's thank him for his word that he has come to challenge us. Man de Keribo Zoprada Bandu Shiberia the Brand Keko Dushtabara. In Jesus' amazing name, we have given thanks. Please open your eyes. You know, I've not come here to rebuke you this morning. 
But the word that has come this morning, God is, has released the word to make you uncomfortable in your comfort zone. It's time to move. Hear what it says. You have dwelt long enough in this place. Lift up your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to encounter the God of the great change. I want to encounter new things in my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to talk to God. In the mighty name of Jesus. in jesus mighty name we pray i love the way you are praying this morning it's not that god is going to open your heaven your heavens are already open what i keep hearing in my spirit there shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of God. There shall be seasons refreshing. Sent from the Savior above. Shower, showers. Everybody sing. Ah, showers of blessings with a mercy drop ran us up for for the shower. One more time, let's sing. Yeah, yeah. There shall be showers of bless. This is the promise of God. This is the promise of God. There shall be season refreshing. Sent from the Savior above. Shower, showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops round us all. Look up, let's sing it. Shout out the showers we need. There shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers of blessings. Precious reviving again. Precious reviving again. Over the hills and the valley. Sand of abundance of rain. Abundance of rain. Shower. What's of blessing? You are not singing. Sing and dance. What's of blessings we need? Mercy drop from the fall. But for the showers we see. There shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers of blessing. Send them upon us, O Lord. Grant to us a refreshing. Grant to us a refreshing. Come and honor your word. Shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers of blessing. Oh, today they might fall. Oh, oh today, today they might fall. The last one. There shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers of blessing. If we both trust and obey. If we both trust and obey. There shall be seasons refreshing. If we let God have his way. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. 
blessings we need. Our mercy drop round us our falling for for the shower. Lift up your two hands, say Father. Let the rain on my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My Father, my God, let it rain on my life. Let there be showers of blessing. <laughs> Spiritual blessing, physical blessing, marital blessing, financial blessing. Open your mother prayer. <laughs> Let there be blessing. Let there be showers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lastly, lift up your right hand. Say, my father, my God. Oh, my God. Say, my father, my God. This year, let it rain on my life. Let it rain on my business. Let it rain on my finances. Let it rain on my spiritual life. Let it rain on our church. Open your mind and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. My father, my God, this year. Let it rain on me. Let it rain on our ministry. Let it rain on this church. Mary and the the God of great change, the God of great change, the God of great change, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lastly, you're going to pray, Lord, open my ear to hear you. The Bible says, and I hear shall hear a word behind you, saying, this is the way walk in it. He said, where you turn to the right and where you turn to the left. My sheep hears my voice. The voice of the stranger. They will not hear. They will not hear. Hallelujah. I will guide you. I will lead you. I'd like us to lift up our two hands as a mark of surrenderedness. Father, open my ears. Open my eyes. Open my ears to hear you. Open my eyes to see what you are saying. Lord, as you speak to me, I receive grace for obedience. I receive grace to follow you. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open my eyes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you talk to God in prayer. My Father, my God, open my ears to hear you. In the name of Jesus. In the name in the Keria Nabaya, Renda Koso Prada Gadush Teveria Daba. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please open your eyes. I know you have, you still have to give that and offering, but today is a special day. Uh, he didn't tell me, she didn't tell me, they didn't tell me, but uh, this hour I've been led. I'm going to take a special offering, uh, a special anniversary offering. Because why do I need to do this? I share a personal testimony with you and I will take it and then after I will close and then uh, somebody financial situation is changing. Af af after that, you know, you come, you're still going to give your Sunday offering and then your tithes. But this one, um, doing this has been commanded by the Spirit of God, you know, and then it's going to be with specification, you know, uh, I pray. Why did I pray that we should hear God? There was a particular time, you know, somebody gave me some uh, some good money. You know, whatever money could have come that comes, we were. I mean, he's waiting for somebody, something to. And the Lord said, "No, not for you. Keep it. It's for my servant." Say who? Says. Is for Daddy Gio. I said, Lord, I, I don't. And, and you know, you see, when you hear, we're still in the days of Elijah where God is still speaking. I hear God say to me, He said, Keep it, yeah? And I want you to give it to him by hand. You know? I, and I question, I said, Oh, how can this thing be? You know, we have Peter, James, and John guiding him. They won't allow you to. Don't we just so 
have kept the money. Not every money that comes into your hand that you have to spend that belongs to you. Ask God. Praise God. We are at the beginning of the year. Huh? First fruit. Have you done your first fruit? Or you don't believe in it again? You believe all that things, so, but when it comes to money, Jesus is not the Lord. He's the Lord of all things. Hello? If Jesus is the Lord of all things, then he must be the Lord of over everything that concerns us. Are you getting it? And, and, and you see, money plays an important role, you know, whether you like it or not. Yeah? So, and the, Lord, the instruction that came said, put it in his hand. That this be. I kept this. I kept this. All of a sudden, everybody said, all of a sudden. I was in, I hope, and the Lord said to me, pick that money. So I got it. And the Lord said to me, you know, I, I say in Northwest London, I don't know whether you, it's close to Jesus. Or, there's a shopping mall called Brent Cross. Yeah? So God said, go there, go to Brent Cross. I hear God say to me, go to Brent Cross. So I got, I got the money, I got the money. I went to Brent Cross. So I said, Lord, you know, uh, I'm, I'm here in Brent Cross. He <laughs> said, yeah, you have a room. He said, don't worry. Praise God. As I was stayed there, all of a sudden, I just hear a voice, you know. And I was just walking. And I see somebody behind me. Wow. It was Daddy Ju and Pastor Lake. So I just ran. You know, white people are just say, Thank you, my son. Next time, you will give more. Why people are looking at I don't care. I receive my blessing. Glory be to God. Things change. People of God, you want to explain the great change in your life? Access to the voice of God. Some people have said, you know, you can't hear God again. No. Huh? You can still hear God. Somebody will say, ah, you know, maybe pastor will say, okay, give a thousand pounds. Give No, hear God this morning. Hello. One thing that I know that God will not ask you to give you a useless offering. God will not ask you to give what he can't cost you. Can I have an envelope, please? Please. I need, ah, I'm not a preacher that wherever I'm saying something, I'm not doing it. Give me an envelope. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Osha, you give everybody an envelope. You don't want me to be blessed. <laughs> they have given me. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so, this morning, I, 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 I want each and every one. Mama, we can give by card now. Can they process card? You can do transfer. Ah, okay, give me the... Praise God. Can I have my phone? So let, can I do directly? Yes, okay. So if, uh, praise God. I say praise God. Hallelujah. I like you, please. Don't just quickly. I want you to say, Holy Spirit, what should I give on this 12 year anniversary? Hello. What should I give? Speak to me. Hallelujah. Let's quickly do that. Let's quickly do that. Let's quickly do that. Before you, you know, if you are using your phone, paying directly, don't send it before. I'll have to first pray before you send. You just send it. If you want to give cash, you want to give cash, whatever. You know, ha hallelujah. Please. Do, 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 we mind, do, do you mind, everybody, can you stand up? Because we want to do this with holy reverence to the Lord.
Praise God. Are we all ready? Touch me. Please touch me. I know the joy that fills my soul. Something in me, something happened. I like my daughter. Come, come here. Yeah. Help me to. Do you know how to do bank? Okay, okay. Just let me put the church details and everything. You know how to do it. Okay, give it to her. Let me to put church details. And then when it's what I'm going to give, just give it to me. Yeah. I know the joy that fills my soul. Something happens. Something happens. I know he touched me and made me He touched me, Lord. He touched me, my Lord. He touched me. He I know that joy that fills my soul. Something happens. Thank you. It happens. And I know he touched me and made me old. He touched me, love. He touched me. Something happened. Something happened. Now I know it touched me and made me know. All eyes closed. Lift up whatever the Spirit of God is laying on your spirit. Father, I give you praise and thanks. I bow my knee before you, O God. Has been led by the Spirit of the Lord. Father, we're giving towards this 12 year anniversary. Father, we praise you, we exalt you, we magnify you. As you led by the Spirit of the Lord and by the testimony that I've shared. Father, I ask, O oh God, that these people they remain blessed forever in Jesus' name. Their heavens are open. Lord, I pray for them. The money that they have never handled in their life. Father, this year, let it visit their accounts. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray this special prayer for them. Please, Lord. That the tithe of one year, let it become a monthly tithe for them. Their tithe of one year, last year, let it be their monthly tithe this year. My Father, my God, their tithe, Lord, Father, in last year, throughout last year, let it be their monthly tithe. Give them divine idea, divine wisdom, divine connection. Let there be showers of blessing. To the glory of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Jesus, mighty name. Come on, give. If you are giving by envelope, just come. Come and drop it in your order. I want to shake your hand. And then I just pray for you and we close. We quickly, quickly, quickly. In the name of you, drop it. In the name of Jesus, I release God's blessing upon your life. God prosper you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord prosper you. Drop it on the altar and shake my hand. The Lord prosper you in the name of Jesus. Make sure you shake my hand. <clears throat> the Lord prosper you in the name of Jesus. The Lord prosper you. Give you what you have never had before in the name of Jesus. The Lord prosper you. Receive the favor of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God. Receive the favor of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God. Receive the favor of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God in the name of Jesus. The blessing of God is upon your life in the name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God in the mighty name of Jesus. It is done. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your right hand. I bless you in the name of the Lord that it shall be well with you. The sun shall not smite you by the day, nor the moon by now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that for the next for the next seven days, God of heaven, in the name of Jesus, we visit you with new friends, new ideas, new finances, new blessing, new connection. Go forth, return with testimony. It's the dawn of a new day. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And God's people say, Amen. I just want to say a very big thank you to you all. Thank you for receiving me. Thank you for having me. And Mama, thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Daddy. God bless you. I appreciate you and I celebrate you. God bless you.